Hi guys, I mean, have got Macy here. She looks super cute. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little haul video. So, I've been doing a little bit of shopping, not a whole heck of a lot of shopping lately. I just, I don't know. It's just been, I don't need stuff. And Miss Macy's got quite a wardrobe now. I don't have room for like much of the big stuff. Like I've looked at a few different little toys for her, but um, I'm just I'm more into my American girls now. Like I know I mentioned this some a few more times. Uh, my daughter's really got into them and playing with them and wanting things for them. We've gone to the store twice this year already. We'll probably be going to the third. But I just, I'm really not into, well, Macy's my only reborn. So I will change her and cuddle her and stuff. But like my real cares, they're all sitting on the changing table and they've been that way for a while. So I really haven't done much with them. But anyways, I've got a small little haul. Um, I went a few places within the last week or so. So I've got this small little haul. Um, first of all, I have two purchases from eBay. So the first is something that I've been wanting and I finally found it for a reasonable price. Sorry guys, there's somebody driving by, so if you hear that humming. Oh, and the reason why Miss Macy is in her car seat is I was going to do an outing today. Um, I was going to take her to Target with me. But neither of my kids were coming with to Target, and I honestly didn't feel like taking her out. So, I, I had some alone time with myself. I walked around Target for an hour, having some me time, which I desperately needed. I mean, I've, I've been going out with, like, my friend that through this whole quarantine we've been together. Um, but because I don't, part of it is I don't drive in Austin or the Austin area, and she does. I have a Costco membership. She does not. So basically, like, we'll go down to Costco, and there's a Sam's Club not near, or not near, not far from Costco. And then there's Randall's, which is um, owned by Safeway. So there's a few places, and, like, her and I go together. Our husbands stay home with the kids. That way, we don't have to take our kids out. Not so much that we just don't want to deal with them, which sometimes as it is. Um, but that way, we're able to get into the stores, get what we need, get out. Not have to worry about the kids getting exposed. So it's just easier for the two of us to go and do the things together. So anyways, um, back to what I got. So the first thing I got from eBay is I got, I'm just going to cover it, Miss Maisie, these super cute kicky pants. Um, romp, or, what do they call them? I think Long Johnnies or Long Johns. Um. So it looks like it's just a typical romper with the snaps in the front. And in the back, if you remember, so it's a footless romper. Um, it has got this like aqua honeycomb pattern on it with some little black and mustard colored bees on them. And then at the ankle, which you can roll up, is... Um, the edging is like this dark gray that's around the neck, the wrists, and the ankle. And this is three to six months, so it doesn't have the hand things like the zero to three months a newborn size have. But it also, it has like the other ones where it has the little butt flap, snap butt flap in the back. Um, if you remember not long ago, I had a kicky pants, or I, I had ordered some stuff from kicky pants and I had actually ordered the blanket. That matches this. So I finally found this romper that goes with it. I'd really like to find either the romper, the gown, or the sleeper. The non-frilly. There's a frilly version that's the girls. 
this is technically the boy version, which could be gender neutral. But the girl version, like at the button area, it's like got frills on it. And then um, around the butt flap, it's got some little frills around it. But anyways, I would really like to find the gender neutral boy version in zero to three months of one of those. That does not cost an arm and a leg. Like I got this one, I paid a little bit more than what I really wanted to but it'll do and the whole reason why is like I was looking at it and having the matching blanket I'd really like like if we have another child that be there coming home from the hospital but my first two came home in Zutano I was thinking for the third two but I'm really liking this kicky pants B outfit and then the other thing I got from eBay from a different seller and this is three to six or zero to three months is this kimono style onesie and it's got these cute little ducks all over it. So it's yellow with these white ducks on it. And I like that the kimono style is actual buttons and not snaps. So there's three. There's one at the bottom. There's one over on the chest. And there's one kind of under the neckline. And this is the girl version. This is what I was talking about, the frilly. This is what's on the sleepers for the girl version. And their onesies have this as long as it's zero to three months newborn or preemie size have the little caps for the mitts but I thought this was really cute um I got this for a steal so that's why that came here and I'm loving kicky pants it's for those that have never felt kicky pants it's made out of um bamboo and spandex I believe it is yeah 95% Vie close from bamboo and spandex and it's super 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 soft my daughter did have a few kiki pants things when she was a baby i held on to those um i loved them i thought they were super soft when i got them they came from uh um back home sadly it's closed they came from a uh, baby boutique that's the one so the the baby boutique is sadly closed but um I did have some kicky pants stuff from her because I got it on sale there and I absolutely loved it um and then the last thing I got from eBay are these I got some th I got three balls um I got there's an aqua, a green, and an orange ball. They all have squares on them and white. And then on the back side, there's on the aqua one, it's white with black stars. On the green one, is just white with black polka dots. And then the orange one is black and white stripes. These are the balls for that Mama Roo. So I was able to purchase the toy bar for the Mama Roo, but it did not have the balls with it. And... I was not willing to pay more for the balls than I could purchase them brand new on 4Mom's website. And I was able to get these for a steal. In actuality, these two came together and they came with a third ball. And the third ball was not the square set. It was the monster set, which the monster set is actually smaller balls and would not fit in the Mama Roo. They, it would fall out of the hole that the balls are supposed to go in. So I sold that one and I was able to find the aqua one that I was missing. So I was happy with that. Then my friend and I last week went to Build-A-Bear. We took my son. She wanted to go to Build-A-Bear because um, they had an online sale and she didn't realize it was an online only sale. We got to the store. There's a store that was open that's probably about 40 minutes away from here. No, more than 40. It took us an hour and a half to get there. What am I talking about? So anyways, um, there was a mall in like South Austin that was open and their Build-A-Bear was open. There is a Build-A-Bear. The mall with the Build-A-Bear closest to us is open, but I don't know why the Build-A-Bear there isn't open. So anyways, we took the drive down there to go to Build-A-Bear. And when we got into the mall and we were walking to Build-A-Bear, I really like the layout of this mall. <clears throat> So we didn't really explore the mall all too much because we were kind of on a time crunch. But um, it was a two-story mall. 
and it had two Dillards. It had a women's and like home goods, and then men and children's Dillards. Um, then it had it had a Macy's in there. But what I really liked about it is all like the kids stuff was together, and like the toys. Like there was a toy store in the small. Um, there was a candy store. There was Build a Bear, and there's a few other like like kids gap, baby gap. Um, children's place I believe Jimble Ree was in there like I said we didn't go into any of the stores except for a gap or not gap build a bear and then one other store and this store was in this area so they had all the kids stuff together and I really liked that idea because when I'm going to the mall for kids stuff I don't want to have to like run here there and everywhere else like my mall the mall back home Children's Place is on one side of the mall. Jimble Ree was on another side of the mall. Gap was in another area. The kids' gap was in another area. Like, you were bouncing all over that mall. And when you had your kids with, it got to be a lot. So, I really like the layout of this mall. Um, I'll probably go back to this mall, hopefully, when the corona stuff is all over with. Yes, we wore our masks. Um, Texas is now mandated that any county with over 20 cases of COVID-19 must wear masks in public. Um, so we wear our masks, we wear our masks even before it was mandatory. And I know for me personally, like I have asthma and so does my friend. And one of the things that doctors are saying is if you have ma asthma, you don't fall under the have to wear a mask situation. Um, but her and I have noticed the more we wear it, like, it started out, like, just doing, like, short trips. The more we've worn it, the more we've gotten used to it and can wear it longer, as well as our breathing has improved with it on. Um, so, that's really been a huge thing. As well as my mask that I primarily use is Kiki Pants. Um... My daughter is actually right here. My son's is too. Mine is in my purse. But, um, and I need to wash these because I see my daughter had juice on hers. So it's just, it's made out of kicky pants. It's two layers. My son's actually has a filter on it. And his has a plastic piece. And then it has like this filter thing in here. I don't know how this filter thing works how the button necessarily works but I gotta wash their masks um, I I primarily use my kiki pants mask when we go shopping um, that stays in my bag and then Target had these two packs of masks that what I did is I bought four of them four two packs I've got blue for my son pink for my daughter black for myself and red for my husband and then we've got a set in his truck and we've got a set in my van. That way, whenever we're in that vehicle, we know there's a mask in there for all four of us. Um, so, like, say, for instance, we decide just to go for a drive and end up having to go or, like, oh, well, let's stop at Walmart or whatever. We've got a mask for all four of us. Um, but, like I said, the Kiki Pants one is the one that I use and I go with my friend. So, anyways, back to the mall. Um... There was a Lego store, so we stopped, and I purchased myself this. My son got a few things at the Lego store that he bought with his own money, but I got this. I got the Creator. Um, I just realized it's in French. It just says building toy. Anyways, it's the um, London buses. It's one of the London Double Decker buses. So I thought that was super cute. I loved this. Those that know me know that I like UK stuff. Um, I was sad when I got the emails that Mother Care closed. Um, I know I've talked to Kim and Kim said no, the shops haven't been open yet. But when I looked online, at least the website anyways, um, Mother Care is like some Eastern Asian company um, and like Middle Eastern company. So, I don't know if the website itself now is only that area and that they actually still have the stores in the UK. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, I loved like their classic line. 
Oh, and I forgot I got this. Um, I got this from a Purge. I know this is an American girl. I finally got Grace's dog, Bon Bon. And I didn't have to sell my firstborn to get it. I bought it, like I said, I bought it from a Purge. Um, the other items on the Purge were actually for my niece's birthday present. And Bon Bon's just been sitting over there and I forgot to show him. Not the niece that I, sh I had talked about. My other niece that we got McKenna for for her birthday. I got the rest of McKenna's meat um, for my niece's. And, okay, oh, I'm rambling. So anyways, then I went to Ross. So I got this really cute. It's Carter's. It's six months. It's an aqua color and it's got these white kitty faces all over it. And then it's got this kitty applique that's white. And she's got these yellow glasses on with some rose colored lenses. She's got her cute little whiskers. And then here's the back. There's nothing on the butt since the applique in the front. And the one thing I liked, it did not have the buttons down the front. It's got these two snaps on the side. It's a sleeveless one with a little frill on the um, shoulders. And then it's just got the snaps at the crotch. Like it doesn't have the full snap down the center. I fell in love with this at Ross. And I had not seen this romper at any of the Carters recently. And my friend and I have been going to Carters for, well, last year. Like I didn't even see that on clearance. So um, I don't know. Oh, it was a 2018 fourth quarter. But I thought it was super cute. But I haven't... Even when I had gone to Carter's in 2018, I did not see that print. So I probably would have bought it in a smaller size for my real kids. Um, then I also picked up these. Some super cute Tommy Tippy train pacifiers. Um, I just thought they were adorable and I had to have them. Um, the top one is a yellow... Or both of them... The shields on the pacifier are blue with like little railroad tracks on them. And the top one is a yellow button with a red caboose. And the bottom one is a blue button with a blue and red um, train on it. So I just thought those were adorable pacifiers. Just piling everything up on poor Macy. And then the last thing I got at Ross was this. And I'm going to probably open it up. It's a Dr. Brown's Sippy cup bottle it's the very hungry caterpillar and as you see it's got the caterpillar in it i just i thought this was really cute um since macy is supposed to be like uh somewhere between three to six months old i figured it's not like a true sippy cup it's still a soft nipple it's like their beginner cup so it doesn't have like the typical Dr. Brown filter in it like their bottles have. But it has this different top to it. So a si it's a sippy cup top. And it's an 8 ounce bottle. That's just a clear bottle and it's got the Very Hungry Caterpillar on it. And he is in various shades of green and blue with his red head. But I thought that would be cute for her. I'm probably going to seal the nipple and then that way look like Miss Macy has her, yeah, it's a sippy bottle. That's what they call it on the box. It's a sippy bottle. So it's kind of like the transition between a bottle and a sippy cup. I wish they would have had these when my kids were babies because that transition was one of the hardest transitions because so many sippy cups the nipple part on it is so hard for babies to get the concept of it. And then lastly was today when I went to Target. And I've been eyeing these for a while and I decided to finally pull the trigger because Target has discontinued them. Um, a few of the Targets don't have them and I finally found it in three to six months. A lot of the Targets completely got rid of it or sold out of it. There were still a few things left at my Target, so I picked it up. So I got the four onesie pack. They are Cloud Island. And these are the, um, what were they called? I think it was Lemon and Bee line. I don't remember what exactly line it was called. So the first onesie is pink, and it's got this really cute yellow bee that's got some black stripes. And then some green wings. 
And then the next onesie is just white with some hearts that are in yellow. There's some peach ones, uh, but primarily pink that are just scattered randomly. Then we've just got a plain gray onesie, which is perfectly fine. And then the last onesie is this yellow, uh, white onesie with yellow lemons on it, and they've got some green stems. Um, I kind of wanted the one, or I got the onesies. I had thought about getting the sleepers, but I decided to go with the onesies instead. The onesies were a little bit cheaper than the sleepers, but um, if you remember in a Target haul from a while ago, I actually got the slippers that match these onesies, that's the B. So I thought I would go with the onesies. Um, they did not have the pants that match it. But in all honesty, I mean, I can get any kind of like a sweat pant or um, legging type pant that can match it. Or maybe I'll try another Target and find the pants that match it. But it would be, I thought it'd be cute with um, the B slippers. So those are my haul that I've gotten stuff recently. Um, I really haven't been, like I said, I haven't been buying much stuff for Macy or any of like my real cares or anything. I just haven't. I've been buying more American Girl stuff, which I've got a bag I already started for a purge that I'm going to be having on one of the American Girl sites, put it that way. My husband's like, what are you buying now? And it's like, yeah, some of the stuff, though, at least I can turn around. Or not necessarily turn around and sell. Like, there was one purge that I bought a few items in. And one of them, the guy, it was a dad selling a daughter's lot, or daughter's stuff. And he just threw a bunch of stuff in this lot. And he sold it for a, a decent price. Not a, well, a good price. And there was only a few things I needed from that lot. But I don't need the rest of the item, and so I'm like, I'm just going to kick those back into a purge. Um, when I get them, I'll go through them. I've already started kind of itemizing um, some of my items for a purge. Um, but by the time you guys see the video, the purge will probably already be done. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Bye!